I'd like to welcome you to Quick Post, the easiest way to post to multiple Twitter and Facebook accounts. So you may have your favorite Twitter clients and Facebook clients that you're using on your phone right now, and they all do a pretty good job overall, but one place that they always lack, at least as far as I'm concerned, is posting. They all do a very simple job in posting, and what that results in is that you're having to focus on how you post, not what you post. So let me go ahead and load Quick Post and let me show you what I'm talking about. When you first load up Quick Post after you've set up your accounts, um, you're going to be coming um, to this screen where you can immediately start typing. But before I get into that, let me show you the account screen and show you what Quick Post is really all about. Quick Post lets you set up multiple Twitter and multiple Facebook accounts. Or you can set up just one Twitter account or one Facebook account, it's up to you. Um, and when you set up uh, either a Twitter or Facebook account, you're going to have multiple options. First of all, you can set up multiple accounts to be default accounts. And what that means is that anytime you're posting a message, it's going to automatically go to those default accounts. And as you can see, I have two default accounts set up. And of course, I can toggle the accounts any way I want per, on a per message basis. But by default, these were the two accounts that we're going to be um, se uh, sending a message to. So when I first load the app, I don't have to choose which accounts I want to send it to if, if those accounts are the ones that I send to most often. Um, the other option that you have is location sharing. So on a per account basis, you can decide whether you're going to be sharing your location to your followers and friends. And you can also change this on a per message basis as well. So if for a particular message I wanted to share where I was, um, maybe I'm at a particular cafe and I want to talk about the coffee there and I want to post on my um, Facebook wall, I can check into that location um, on a per message basis. Um, so let me go ahead and start posting. The main advantage of quick posts, so like I mentioned, um, you're focusing on the content of your message, not how you're typing it. So in most, um, especially Twitter, I, I was going to say Twitter and Facebook, but mostly Twitter, you see that there's a 140 character limit. Um, Facebook actually has a 420 character limit. Um, but especially on Twitter, um, what, when people start typing, They're looking at that counter, and as soon as it gets down to zero, what do you do next? You start editing your message, and you start, you know, manually trying to compress it and changing words, and maybe changing your thoughts, and you're spending extra time doing that. And Quick Post, as the name suggests, is meant to eliminate all that. And let me show you how it does that on the preferences screen. You have many different options on how to automatically compress your messages. Um, first of all, automatically it's going to shorten URLs using the service that you prefer. Um, also, um, by your choice, again, you can choose any of these options. Um, it uses a service called 148. Um, 148 uses multiple um, message compression techniques um, to compress a message. So it'll remove some extra spaces. It'll it'll um, um, replace certain words like without may turn into w slash o um, and, and etc. Um, Unicode compression is interesting. Um, you may not know this, but there are, are certain um, series of characters called Unicode characters um, that exceed the normal um, ASCII space, um, the alphanumeric space. So you know, you, you're obviously familiar with A through Z and all the numbers and comma and all the punctuations, but there's a whole other set of uh, characters called Unicode. And some of the Unicode characters basically compress multiple characters into one character. So for instance, if I typed L-O-G, um, that's one of the Unicode characters, it'll actually compress into one character, so you save two characters right there. Um, the next thing is message splitting. So if all the compression techniques fail, um, Quick Post is going to intelligently split the messages into multiple pieces, and it's going to know how many pieces it's going to be. So let's say it splits it into three pieces um, based upon the max character count. So for Twitter is 140, and for Facebook is 420. It's going to know that it needs to split it into three messages, and it's going to prefix each message. Um, it's going to say one out of three, two out of three, three out of three, and it's going to put at the end of each message, C-O-N-T period for continued. So it makes it a very clean looking um, 
set of messages um, for your followers or friends. Um, and you can also specify the number of max uh, split message pieces. So if I only want to do two, if I never want to go above two, I can do that. And as a last resort, it's going to use twit longer if you choose to. So if you exceed your max number of split messages, or you choose not to do message splitting, then it's going to use twit longer, and it's going to post the full, full message onto twit longer, and, and um, post a shortened link um, onto your Twitter account. You also have some message posting options um, for image uploading. So you could choose either TwitPic or YFrog. So let's go back and let me show you a really long post. Oops. Okay, I hit the back button. So let me go ahead and paste the message that I already typed. And you notice it's 102 characters over the Twitter limit. So I'm way over the Twitter limit. And compression is probably not going to work. It's not going to work when you're 100 characters over. So what's going to happen is it's going to split. And let me go ahead and change the splitting options. Let's make it something like 4. And let me go ahead and hit send. And what's going to happen? It's going to post a message. Oh. Location sharing. Okay, so I chose to uh, share my location on Facebook. So let me go ahead and say I'm at this place. And so it's going to go ahead and send. And when it's done, it's going to come up with a little message at the bottom. And there it is. So let's go to my Twitter account. And let's see what came up. There it is. So it split it into two messages in this case, and you'll notice it has the one out of two and the two out of two, and has the little continued on the first message. And incidentally, if you mention anyone um, using a mention, using the at symbol, um, it'll automatically append it to each of the split messages with a CC, um, so, that, so that if you're sending a long message to someone, they're going to see the whole message in, in their timeline, um, which is really handy. Um, if we would have gone over the max split messages, it would have just put, uh, posted one message with twit longer. Um, and you'll notice that there's a location on here. And there's my location. And incidentally, I don't have Facebook on here right now, but incidentally, it also got sent to Facebook um, simultaneously. So that's the other advantage of Quick Post is if you maintain multiple accounts, whether it be two Twitter accounts or maybe a Twitter and a Facebook account, and you want to share news with everyone, you don't have to do it twice. You save time, you do it once, and it got posted automatically to both locations. I didn't have to worry about how I was typing it, how many characters I was typing it, and it automatically put my location if I chose to do so, and I could toggle it right here. Um, I could choose any accounts I want. I could deselect and select all of them if I want. And there it is. Um, you can also post images. So let me go ahead and post this cool fire background. And it's going and uploading to, I think it was TwitPic. And I can put any kind of message I want. Message. That's really creative. And I can go ahead and hit send. And it's going to post that message. Now, if I do Facebook, what it's going to do is actually upload to a Facebook album um, instead of doing a TwitPic or a YFrog. So it actually uploads to your Facebook album. Um, the last thing I want to talk about which is something that not a lot of clients do, or maybe even none, I'm not aware of any other client that does this, is when your internet is down, Quick Post will still let you post to your accounts. And let me show you what that means. So what, what's going to happen is it's going to queue up your messages, and it's going to run in the background. So even if you close the app, and even if Android completely shuts the app down, the service is still going to run in the background, and it's going to detect when you have an internet connection. And when you do have an internet connection, all of your queued messages will automatically get sent. So you could be on a subway, you could be on an airplane, you could be you know, out in the middle of nowhere where you have no internet connection, you can post whatever you want, not have to worry about it, because if you have a thought right at that second, or if you have a picture that you want to post, you don't want to have to, you know, wait till you have an internet connection sometimes. You want to do it then. Um, so let me go ahead and turn on airplane mode. 
And if you notice, I have airplane mode. So I should not have an internet connection right now. So I'm going to type a message. No internet. No internet. And I'm going to hit send. Oops. And you'll notice that it says at the bottom that um, no internet connection detected message has been queued. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my or turn off airplane mode and I should get an internet connection again and within 30 seconds it actually runs in the background every 30 seconds we don't want it to run every five seconds um, to waste your battery for no reason um, so every 30 seconds it's going to check to see if there's an inter internet connection and eventually you should see a message that it posts and I can actually be outside of the app Oops, there it is. Um, but I didn't have to keep the app open. And you'll notice on Twitter that it did post once it updates. Somewhere here. And there it is, no internet. And it actually posted to um, Facebook as well. Um, so there's Quick Post. It's the easiest way to post if you have multiple accounts, if you want to post with no internet, if you want to post pictures, if you want to post without worrying about going over the max character limit. Um, and it's the best way to do it. Um, there's no other app out there that does everything this does as far as posting. Um, it's a great addition to your favorite Twitter and Facebook clients. And thank you for watching and look out for more apps coming to the marketplace soon by Hidami.